Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alyssa. Today we're gonna be doing an eyeshadow tutorial on these eyes here. It is a look for the transition between summer and fall. So we're not quite out of the super colorful looks yet, but we're not quite into the really deep warm tones for fall yet. So I figured I would do a eyeshadow tutorial for you guys using the ColourPop Yes Please palette. It is the perfect summer to fall palette and I love how this look turned out today. So definitely keep watching if you're interested in seeing how I got here. But before we jump into it, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every other day, but I talk a little bit in this video about how that might change just slightly. But right now I post new videos every other day. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I am pretty active on Instagram. I don't tweet my own tweets much, but I'm a, I'm a heavy retweeter on Twitter. So you can follow me on both of those if you'd like to. They are linked in my Dropbox below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial today. Also, thank you guys for 300 subscribers. I just wanted to say that really quickly. I really appreciate all of you being here and supporting me. It means more than you know, and um, I'm excited to see where we'll go from here. So now let's jump into the tutorial. So we are zoomed in so that we can see everything that's going on here. But before we jump in, I have a few quick disclaimers to make. First of all, if my foundation looks weird and patchy, it's because it is. I used a new primer today. I used the J1 Jelly Pack. I had a sample of it and it, I think, is the reason for why my foundation looks patchy. Around my lip, none of my foundation stuck to that area really compared to the rest of my face. And then you can't see it because of my bronzer, but it was doing the same thing up by my hairline and I think it's because I didn't put um, all of that primer or serum. I'm not sure exactly what to call it because it was very unique in consistency, but I think because I didn't put that in those certain areas that my face was less sticky there, so my foundation didn't want to stick there. Also, I may or may not be going down to doing videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday just because I am working a full-time 40 hour a week job now. It takes up a lot, a lot of my free time to be able to film and to edit. Mostly editing is what takes up all of the time. I'm gonna see how it's been going. During my first week, I have been uploading every other day. It's just like today's Saturday. I'm spending my morning filming and then I have plans with a friend and then when I get back in the afternoon, I'll spend pretty much the rest of my afternoon up to dinner time editing. It it does take a very long time and then I'm gonna upload this video today too. So I'm filming it now. I'll be gone for a couple hours with one of my friends. I'll come back, I'll edit. I'll have to export the video from my editing software and then I'll have to upload it to YouTube and do the description box and the thumbnail and all that. So by the time I get this video up, it'll probably be between seven and eight o'clock tonight. So it does take up my entire day. Um, I don't want to go down to only uploading three times a week, but realistically for my own like well-being, I don't wanna have to work 40 hours a week at my job and then have the rest of my free time, 90% of it, be taken up by having to edit and upload. I would much, much, much rather be able to do this full time than my job. We're not to that point yet, so I'm um, just throwing it out there. I may be uploading a little bit less in the future. Not sure yet, but I just wanted to throw it out there. So. That was really long-winded. Let's go ahead and just get into this now. I mentioned this in my last video, which was a ColourPop haul that is linked in the description box below, that I wanted to do a summer to fall eyeshadow look with this Yes Please palette from ColourPop. It's so, so pretty. The brightness from my ring light doesn't catch all of the beautiness of this palette, but it's um, a little bit more bold in color than what you can see right now. So I just wanna, let's, Gotta grab my brushes first. Also, my hair looks like a crazy lion's mane today. Just, just accept it for what it is. So I wanna start today. There's so many pretty colors in this palette. I'm going to mix 
full zip and champs these two light satin pink colors they are so pretty and i'm gonna take this on my new color pop e2 brush it's just a fluffy blending brush and i'm just gonna dip back and forth in those two pans there's a little bit of kickback but not all that much and then i'm just going to begin to fluff this in my crease this is just going to be our base color. I'm, well, I think realistically I'm probably going to put this all over the lid. I can't believe that it's already almost fall. That's crazy to me. This year, with the exception of January, has gone by so, so fast and it like stresses me out. I get stressed out about the time passing because I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna be 40 like tomorrow and it freaks me out. I just get so torn about time passing because obviously I don't want it to go too slow or anything. I just get anxious that I'm gonna be 40 and be like, oh my God, where did time go? Not that 40 is old or anything, but that's still, you know, 17 years from where I'm at now. I know it just stresses me out. I also can't believe that it's going to be the holidays before we know it. It's already back to school season, which by the way, so weird that I'm not going back to school. This is the first year that I haven't gone back to school literally since kindergarten or I guess preschool if you want to count that, but it feels so weird and the holidays are going to be here before you know it and time just flies by so fast now. I really like this color. It's like really soft and pretty. This would be pretty for like a super, super soft feminine look with just this all over the lid and the crease and like a really pretty pink highlight to go in the inner corners and on the brow bone. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Big Cocktails with the same brush and I'm going to stamp that on in the outer corner. These shadows are super pigmented and I'm just gonna slowly work that into my crease. Another cool thing about this palette is it's a pretty good dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, which I am pretty sure is $125. And I think this palette was $14, 12 or $14. Kathleen Lights did a video a while back comparing the two and they pretty much had the exact same shades with the exception of like two or three of them. So if you're someone who's kind of had your eye on the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, but you like cannot commit to spending $125 on eyeshadow, which I don't blame you because I can't commit to that either. Definitely look into this palette. It was sold out for a while, but it seems to be in stock pretty regularly now. I'm loving, loving, loving these colors. I feel like it's been a while since I've loved an eyeshadow palette this much, but this is really, really pretty. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush now. I'm grabbing my Morphe M507, and I'm gonna go in with GNO, this really pretty kind of more burnt orange shade and I'm kind of gonna do the same thing with that but I'm not gonna take it as far into the inner corner as I did with the previous shade so I'm gonna keep this one mostly on the outer corner and in the outer portion of the crease. I've been trying to be a lot more conscious lately of how I do my eyeshadow because I can get carried away with it really quickly and it can go from being a tame look to like super, super smoked out in a second. I've been trying to be a little bit more conscious about my technique and just keeping things a little bit more precise, I suppose. Then I'm gonna go in with the shadow next to the one we just used, this one right here, it's called Spoiled. I'm gonna use my same brush and I'm going to pat that on to the uh, lid on my outer corner and I'm just gonna keep this one to the lid. So I'm gonna kind of have it fade from dark to lighter as it goes upward to my crease. Then I wanna take a flat definer brush like this one from Morphe and I'm gonna go into French Kiss, the dark brown shade and I'm gonna smudge that on my lash line but not all the way across I'm just gonna keep it in the outer corner here and then I'll just grab my M507 and blend over that a little bit now I want to use some shimmers and I think I'm gonna use chauffeur 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 I can't say that word for whatever reason chauffeur chauffeur what you, you know what I mean someone who drives you around you know a chauffeur chauffeur I don't know Disregard that entire bit. I'm gonna use this shade. It's like a really, really pretty goldy orange. It's not quite a copper, it's much more orange. I'm gonna take that and just start 
pressing it on to my lid. It's very much like a golden orangey sunset color. I think that's the best way to describe it. This looks so pretty right now. I'm gonna go in after that with butter cake. It is kind of a more standard like goldy champagne color. I'm gonna put that closer to my inner corner, just over top. Then I'm gonna go in on the lower lash line. I'm gonna find a good brush. First, I'm gonna use the shade Note to Self. It's kind of a slightly warm, but more neutral tannish brown shade. And I'm taking this on a Morphe E17, and I'm going to buff this into my lower lash line all the way across from the inner to outer corner. Then using the same brush, I'm gonna go over that using our first two shades, the two more soft pink ones. And I'm just gonna mix those again. Then I'm gonna go in with GNO on my Morphe M507. I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner area here. And then when I get to this kind of awkward inner corner point between your upper lid and your lower lash line, I like to just buff at first and then go in with very small circular motions to make sure that there's no skin showing in that little outer corner area. I'm gonna take my flat definer brush again and go in with French Kiss. And just like I did with the upper lash line, I'm just gonna smudge that along my lash on the outer corner. Then I'm gonna pick up a different flat definer brush. This one's again from Morphe, it's their M432. And I'm gonna go into Mischief, which is this really pretty bright yellow shade. Now I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Then I'm gonna go in with my first brush again and pick up our first two colors, the pink shades. I'm just gonna buff those back through my upper crease. And I'll go in with Big Cocktails, this shade right here, one more time as well, just to buff that lightly into the crease. For my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use Butter Cake again, that really pretty goldy shade. And I'm gonna take this onto my tear duct. I'm also gonna take it up into the crease a little bit. And then I'll take that on my brow bone arch as well. And then I think I wanna go in with just a little bit of chauff chauffeur, you know what I mean. And I'm gonna put that in my tear duct as well. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put on some mascara and my lip combo for the day, and then I will be back to wrap up this video. So this is today's finished look. This is my summer into fall makeup tutorial. I really, really like how this look turned out. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the eye look. It's been a really long time since I've done an eye look that I liked this much. I think this is so, so, so pretty. All of the other details for what's on my face will be in the description box below. Low. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you recreate this look, please tag me. My Instagram and Twitter are linked in the description box below as well. Also subscribe to my channel here if you have not yet already. As of right now, I'm posting videos every other day. Like I mentioned though, that might change to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll see. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite ColourPop product is, what you wanna see from me in the future, um, anything you want really, let me know in the comments below. But I think that's all that I have for you guys today, so I will talk to you in my next upload. Thank you for watching.